In a dramatic turn of events during the 2023 NASCAR season, the renowned racing organization has levied points penalties for the fourth time in just the first nine races. The latest driver to be caught in the crosshairs is Austin Dillon, who has faced significant repercussions due to illegal car modifications discovered in a recent inspection. The announcement came on Wednesday when NASCAR revealed that Dillon's team had broken the rules surrounding assembled vehicles. Specifically, they were found to have violated regulations related to the car's underwing assembly and its associated hardware. These discoveries prompted swift action from NASCAR, who wasted no time in doling out penalties. Crew chief Keith Rodden was hit with a substantial fine of $75,000, a clear indication of the severity of the infraction. But that wasn't all. He was also suspended for the next two races, leaving the team scrambling to find a suitable replacement in the interim. The penalties didn't stop with Rodden, however. Austin Dillon, the driver of the modified vehicle, and the entire team were collectively penalized 60 points, a substantial blow to their standings in the racing world. To add insult to injury, the penalty also included the loss of five critical playoff points, further impacting their chances of success in the 2023 season. Clearly frustrated by NASCAR's decision, Richard Childress Racing took to Twitter on Wednesday to express their discontent and intentions for the future. The team's tweet furiously conveyed their disappointment. We are disappointed in the penalty that NASCAR issued to Richard Childress Racing following the recent NASCAR Cup Series race at Martinsville and plan to go through the appeal process. The statement, delivered with conviction, highlights the team's solid determination to challenge the ruling and seek justice in the face of adversity. Previously holding the 21st position in the point standings, Dillon has now plummeted to 29th place, leaving him with a total of just 122 points across the first nine races. Despite a respectable 12th place finish and earning 25 points at the recent Martinsville race, the subsequent discovery of the infraction at NASCAR's R&D Center has undoubtedly cast a shadow over his performance. However, the penalties don't end with Dillon and his team. NASCAR has also taken action against two additional crew members from the number 78 Live Fast Motorsport Cup team, which represents driver Anthony Alfredo. Chris Jackson and David Smith have been suspended due to a lost wheel during the race at Martinsville. The Xfinity Series crew chiefs have not been spared from NASCAR's disciplinary actions either. Mike Bumgarner, Jeff Meandering, and Mike Skierce have each been hit with a $5,000 fine for violations relating to lug nuts. Dylan has just two top 10 finishes in 2023. He was ninth in the second race of the season at Auto Club Speedway and was third at the Bristol Dirt Race. The penalty means Dylan will likely have to win a race over the next 17 regular season races to make the postseason for the second consecutive year. His Richard Childress racing team could appeal the penalty, but it won't have the chance to get its points penalty overturned, even if an appeals panel rules that Dylan's number three team committed an infraction. After Hendrick Motorsports was able to get its four 100-point penalties wiped away at Phoenix, even though it still had to pay a $400,000 fine, NASCAR changed the wording of its rulebook to prevent appeals panels from removing points penalties from a punishment if the ruling isn't entirely overturned. Dillon's penalty also comes a day after NASCAR said it had asked final appeals officer Bill Mullis to overturn a 100-point penalty against Justin Haley and Colleg Racing. Like Hendrick Motorsports, Colleg had its hood louvers confiscated at Phoenix, and Haley and his car were penalized 100 points. Unlike Hendrick, the appeals panel hearing Cowlig's appeal kept the 100-point penalty in place. NASCAR said it wanted Cowlig's penalty to match Hendrick's in the interest of competitive fairness. Hendrick's louver penalty was the first time its teams had been penalized in 2023. William Byron and Alex Bowman were each docked 60 points after Richmond, after NASCAR found problems with their car's greenhouse assembly. Could the timing of NASCAR's decision be any more challenging for the Richard Childress racing team? We're eager to hear your thoughts on the matter, so please share your opinions in the comments section below. If you found this content appealing and informative, be sure to show your support by giving it a thumbs up.
sharing it with fellow racing fans, and subscribing to NASCAR today. By doing so, you'll stay in the fast lane with all the latest and most exhilarating news from the world of NASCAR.